Oklahoma today. We don't usually get snow very often, and it's snowing now as we're talking. And uh, we just got done baking cookies, which I will be posting here pretty soon. But uh, yeah, we're out here playing in it. Everybody's making snowmen. I got the head. <laughs> So I'm going to start making up some uh, hot cocoa for them. And uh, warm them up a little bit. And I got some uh, new cocoa that we're going to try. It's uh, Swiss. Miss Lucky Charms. So we're gonna try that out with some marshmallows. Put a little extra marshmallows because I got a whole bunch. And then uh, maybe top it with something on the top as well. Okay, so you get a package of the hot cocoa and then they have packages with the Lucky Charms, uh, the marshmallows, so you can put on top as well. Okay, so the uh, lunch is the chicken strips, and then I made some pasta salad. It's just a bacon ranch craft salad, and then uh, I got some celery with some peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter, because I have uh, two deals of celery I need to use up. Since our guinea pig passed away, I don't have anyone to eat my celery that I usually get for my soup, so... We gotta eat it now. <laughs> 
Okay, so after lunch, I had to do some major cleaning in the kitchen. I swept and mopped and then cleaned off the, all the counters. I still have a few dishes I need to wash and put up. They've been drying. But uh, now we're going. I'm going to go ahead and make two chicken uh, dinners ahead of time. I'm going to cook it in the crock pot. It is now 4 o'clock and it takes about 5 hours to cook four or five hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook both these meals and that way this week, whenever we want it, we just take it out, put it in the oven or the microwave and heat it up and then have it that way. So this is the ingredients and in the meals that we're doing. Okay, I just went ahead and got a big uh, sheet of chicken. I wanted chicken breast, but Aldi's didn't have any chicken breasts. So I went ahead and got the chicken legs. I know it's different, but uh, hopefully it shreds the same. That's all I needed to do anyways. So I have four that I'm going to put in one pot, crock pot, and then, oh no, three. Three in one crock pot, and then three in the other crock pot. And this meal, this is the uh, Olive Garden, uh, what is it called? You all probably have already seen it. I've seen it on Pinterest. It is Olive Garden Chicken Pasta. Now, I didn't have any peony pasta, so I'm going to use elbow macaroni instead. Um, it's nasty outside, and I'm not going to drive to the store just for a different kind of pasta. So this is what we're going to use for that this week. And then we have uh, queso chicken tacos, and this will be all in that crock pot. Okay, so I went ahead um, and I chopped up some cilantro. And I'm going to put cilantro on the top of this. You can keep it out. I know some people don't like cilantro, but I like it. It gives a good flavor, I think. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and put some juice of a lime in there. See, it calls for... Ooh, it calls for... Um, a Rotel that has cilantro and lime already in it, but I got mine at Aldi's and it just comes with one kind of flavor, so I didn't have the option of cilantro and lime. Alright, so I got all that in there and now I'm going to go ahead and put it on the crock pot for low for, I'm going to see four hours, hopefully that'll be done by then. <laughs> Okay, so I, 
got my camera butt filled. <laughs> so I went ahead and this is done. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the uh, dill as well. And you cook both of them on high for four hours, not low. So, uh, and then when this one is done, we will, uh, well, during a week, you will cook these noodles and then add it into this normally. But uh, we'll just mix it all together whenever we get ready to eat. Okay, so while I'm in the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and make tonight's dinner as well. And we're having corn chowder. So I'm going to use the ham that we used for turkey. We've put it up and we're bringing it back out and I'm going to dice that up. But the corn chowder, you uh, get two tablespoons of butter, but I'm using three. And then you'll melt that. And then you'll cook the onion down to where it's soft. And then you would add in the garlic. Then you put in a flour and let that cook a little bit. And then you add in the, uh, you would add in corn, or not corn, chicken broth. And then you add in your potatoes and cook until your potatoes are uh, nice and tender. And then you add in everything else. And I'm just going to let it simmer for majority of the day. But it calls for half and half. So I won't add the half and half until we actually get ready to sit down to eat. So uh, come along while I make that. And then I'll show you what I did with those cookies from yesterday and uh what we are going to do with that big old batch of cookies so stick around okay and here is the after effect of the corn chowder you just put half of the um the corn and the potatoes after it's boiled for a while and you blend it and then you add in the the ham and let it um simmer for a while let everything warm up and Usually, we put some cheese in this. I would top it with uh, green onions, but I don't have no green onions. So, this is this is dinner tonight, and it's pretty good. I liked it. I need more pepper, though. <laughs> okay, so here is the cookies. I put, put them all on a tray like this, and I saran wrapped it all around so they wouldn't move so much off the uh, plate because this is really slick and with the transportation to get there uh, I just feel like the cookies would be all over the place now the uh, bags I got were from Dollar Tree and uh, last year I believe I got bags and they were big I mean you could fit a lot in them well, I was able to put the cookies downwards and then wrap it around like a present. This year, I grabbed these because they were really cute and had Christmas, has Christmas stuff on them. But the only way I'm going to be able to put this big plate in there is to put it sideways. So, I'm going to go ahead and put them in there. I'm going to put them in there sideways like so. And then I will probably just tie them up like this. And I, they come with a little bow, so hopefully I could get them tied up good enough. I am not a, a bow maker. I can't make a bow with, with the save my life. I was seeing it was recording. I was like, I hope this is recording. Okay, so there it is. There's my cookies, like so. And then I'm going to deliver these as well, which I got this at Dollar Tree is also. And it's just a little uh, container. And I made, like, uh, pretz it's pretzels, rice, crackers, or rice cereal, cheese crackers, and oyster crackers. And they have ranch, uh, parmesan, dried mustard, and I know I'm missing the, oh yeah, parsley. 
and that's and you bake it and then you put them in there oh and they also have uh, you can either do cocktail peanuts or uh cocktail peanuts or do cashews well i got cocktail peanuts because they're cheaper <laughs> and i like cocktail peanuts so they're not bad but yes here is our uh little deal of cook uh little Christmas gifts that we get to um, our peoples. Now, I wish we could make a play and give, like, to a family in town or something like that. But I just always, I was always nervous about that in the first place. But definitely, probably not now to do that with the whole COVID and stuff. So, we will just keep it with close family members, and uh, they enjoy it. They look forward to it. I've done fudge in the past, different types of fudge. That was a pain. That's why I went to cookies, because cookies, they're easy to make, and they set up easily. <laughs> but we're going to end this video with that. We're getting ready to watch um, Ernest Christmas. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen that. My son's watched it not too long ago in school. And I just want to, he told me about it. And I was like, you know what, let's go watch that. So we're getting ready to watch that movie and uh, lay down. I'm done with the kitchen with making three meals a day and all sorts of stuff. So my hands are so dry from washing them constantly. I had to take off my wedding ring because it was just hurting. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you all next time. Like, subscribe, comment below on things if you guys uh, deliver or make certain kind of treats for your family members. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.